Good morning, friends. I don't know if I'm videoing or not. I have not learned how to work this platform yet. And I have to turn my camera a different way. And I'm looking and trying to figure out. The buttons are on top now. I can't tell if I'm centered. I can't tell how far back I should be. So we're just in a roll with it. I don't know what else to do. Um, I was just getting to where I knew where to sit and how to put the camera when I was on my my Facebook, but YouTube is completely different. So we're gonna play this by ear. And I know that you all had to laugh with me because sometimes on my Facebook, you <laughs> barely see my face. But finally, I got it all worked out. So now we are starting over again. And um, it's been a really busy morning here. I've got both girls, but Papa took them for a ride on the mule, so, um, or the side-by-side -side or what, whatever y'all like to call it. I don't know. We call it a mule or side-by-side. -side. Anyway, he took them off for a ride, and they're in their jackets, and I didn't have any long pants for them, so they're both having to wear their pajama bottoms. And Carly was so upset with me. She says, I can't wear my pajama bottoms. I have to have pants. And I said, then you can't go outside because I don't have any pants. So they're both in their pajama bottoms and they went out on the trampoline. It's a beautiful, sunshiny day, just a little bit cool. Um, so I guess I told you I've got everything squared away. Um, Opened a new checking account. That's all done. Got my pulse card. I feel like I'm clicking on. But um, every time I open something, I'm, I'm literally scared. Scared to open Facebook. Any time I have to put in a password or something, I, I just, like, um, I take a second breath because um, I, feel like, I feel like somebody's watching me or something. I don't know. Anyway, um... I just want to tell y'all a little something this morning when uh, one of the days when I was going through all that hack and stuff, um, I just needed to get out of the house and we didn't have Coda that morning. It was, uh, um, I can't remember now why we didn't have her, but we didn't have her that morning. We got her later that day, but, uh, we rode out and just Gina and I, we rode out in the neighborhood and I was really down and, uh, I said, let's go to the donut shop. And he said, all right. So he said, we get in the line. And he goes, what do you want? I said, I want, I want two long johns. He goes, you want two of them? And I said, yes. And I'll take chocolate or I'll take caramel. I'll take whatever they have. And he said, you sure? Because I have been doing really good on my diet. And he said, you sure you want to? And I said, I do. Just let me have two long johns. So, okay, so he gets him two plain glazed donuts. Well, praise God, they only had one long john. So, God took care of that little urge for me. And then I, I got a, a Starbucks coffee in, in the bottle. And so, Gene and I just drove around and we talked and, you know, how gullible I was and hope my brother's okay. And, you know, just chit -chat, chat as we drove around the neighborhood and, we got sorted to the back, and there were no houses. It was just woods. And uh, I'm looking out my window, and I, I'm, I'm feeling sad. Sad for myself. So sorry for myself. You know, like I'm the only person in the whole world this has ever happened to. It's poor me. You know, why do I have to go through this poor me? Um, and then I look out the window, and, you know, it's, it's fall here. And um, there were the beautiful trees, not the orange, not the red trees like some of you guys have there. But for us, it was just a, a, a beautiful piece of nature right there. The, the trees were turning orange, and then there were some yellow um, jasmines. And then over here, there were some purple flowers. I do not know what they were, but they were beautiful. And then right in the middle of all that, it was just so colorful, there were some of those spider lilies popping up. And oh, God just came over me. And, and I think, look, look at that, it's beautiful. 
and I told Jean, I said, you know, here we are out amongst these woods and, and, you know, kind of feeling sorry for myself. And I look out and God gives me this beautiful picture. And it just says, you know, straighten yourself up. That That's ridiculous the way you're asked, acting. You've come through this. I've helped you through this. Nothing was hurt that can't be redone. And just look, look at that picture I'm giving you. And then I had to say, thank you, Jesus. But it brought me that, that scripture, all things. I know I'm going to get it wrong. It's in Psalms, all things, uh, bright and glorious, all creatures, great and small, all things wise and wonderful. The Lord God made them all. And sometimes when we get to a low point, we forget God's still here. You know, that, that whoever my hacker was, he hacked into my PayPal account, but he didn't get anything because uh, God gave me the sense enough to hurry and get that money out of there. I don't know if, he, well, I take that back. He tried to get a dollar. I'm sure that, you know how they test you to get a dollar, and then they come back and get a lot of dollars. And uh, so he did get a dollar before I was able to, to get to the bank. And, and I've learned never, never combine your, uh, checking account with your paypal always use that debit card because you can cancel the debit card 24 hours a day seven days a week but when you've got to go through your bank you have to do it monday through friday you can't do that online or at least with my bank i can't so um i've learned a lot of things from this they're not happy things because you can see how bad the world's getting um, when, when people can just do that and technology is so far out there, guys, I, ha I had no idea phones could be cloned. That's, uh, and then someone said now they have voice cloning. I'm thinking, goodness gracious. But bottom line is wherever I go, God goes. And um, tomorrow, I'm hoping I can tell you the story that I did at the at the nursing home. Because it's such a pretty story. And uh, I wanted to share that with you. So maybe, I think, um, when I have to do a life lesson, when we don't have puppets for some reason, I have to do a life lesson. I, um, I'm hoping it'll be okay with you if I do that story with you the same way I would do it at the nursing home. Because... Um, Guys, I have come through uh, across some beautiful, beautiful uh, life stories, and um, I just love them. And I, it just amazes me that God touches people's heart to write little stories that that can, can go right along with our life, you know. And and those life lessons you can learn from those little stories like that, and I just love them. But I want to say to you. Um, Papa said, I always say like and subscribe. And I'm going to try to get on a schedule um, so that I so that you'll know when um, when my pages are com coming out. And um, I don't have any anything else to share with you other than I'm just so thankful I got through those four days. I'm so thankful my brother's okay. And um, we never know what God's going to put in front of us, but he always gives us something to cheer us up. And that's how looking out my car window, I just saw that beautiful, beautiful picture that God gave me. And I thank him so much for that. So guys, I'm going to go. I'm going to leave you with that. I love you all so much. Um, and I will talk to you hopefully tomorrow. Bye.